Well, my name is Terry Highland. I'm the CEO of Cavan County Local Development. And Cavan County Local Development is what's known as a local development company. We're one of 49 local development companies across the country. And we have a role to play in tackling social exclusion, combating poverty, and promoting rural and community development across our areas. Cavan County Local Development would have about 240 people employed within the organisation, between those who are on payroll uh, as part of the core staffing, and also another 200 people who are on schemes such as the Rural Social Scheme and the TUS Initiative. Cavan County Local Development is an equal opportunities employer. So when we advertise jobs publicly, um, we are not restrictive or prescriptive in terms of the profile of the individual who might apply for the job. It's the job description that dictates whether somebody meets the, the screening or the first uh, phase say, in, in a recruitment process. So for example, if somebody needs to have a full driving license or they need to have certain skills or expertise, that's what determines what somebody uh, needs to put in their application before they can get called for an interview with our organisation. So it's very much competency-based, skills-based, and we don't look for any other attributes really outside of that, except for maybe past experience and maybe also uh, someone who has a good personality, good communication skills and those type of personality traits. Capital and Development Development employs a number of people who would be considered senior employees. And of course, somebody who has uh, that senior status brings with them a wealth of experience. They have a repertoire of skills and expertise that they can draw upon from past work and life experiences. They also have that added maturity and I might also say wisdom and knowledge that that brings with them in terms of dealing with problems or troubleshooting uh, issues as they arise. They tend to be very calm and collected. And they also have a way about them that you don't develop uh, unless you are in a position of employment over many, many years. So having a balance of youth, senior people within your organisation brings a, fresh, a new and fresh balance on how to um, be an innovative organisation, one that can look to the past uh, in terms of uh, dealing with problems as they arise, but also then being innovative, coming up with new ideas and uh, facing new challenges as they come up. Cavan County Local Development, uh, as, as, as I previously stated, did deliver a range of programmes on behalf of the state. So the budget, uh, we operate within the budget confines that's, that's given to us by the relevant funding body. And in terms of our staffing and resourcing to deliver the, the, the projects and activities on the ground, that determines um, the, the pay and the salary scales that can be given to the staff members within each programme. There's no real uh, consideration given to employers pure SI, uh, for example, or for those who are under pension age in terms of pension contributions. It's all to do with the, the confines of the budget that's available. But we don't factor that in in terms of our staffing or recruitment, and we never have. And it's not something that we intend to do either. So we base our recruitment, as I said, on ability, competencies, skills, experience, and uh, cost is not something that's factored into that. Well, in Cavan County Local Development, we offer uh, continuous professional development and training to all staff within the organisation. So if there are skills deficits or gaps, uh, we can address that through training opportunities. We can find that maybe the younger members of the staff team can be more savvy in terms of the, maybe the social media aspects uh, of their work. But in terms of the IT proficiency that we need for this organisation, be it use of uh, Microsoft Word or Excel or PowerPoint, we find no difference in the cap capabilities of the senior members of staff with the, with the younger members of staff. Uh, so from that point, uh, there's, no, there's no real uh, bridge or, or significant gaps there.